Hello friends, welcome back and thank you for tuning in on my channel and today we are going to see that how can we create the cross functional Vizier chart. This is again a requested video. Thank you so much for showing your support on the charts which I am preparing on the Vizio. And so here it is. So let's get started and see how can we make the cross functional chart in Vizio. So I have my same data which I was using it earlier that invoice submission that how the process works with the finance. So this time what we are going to do is we are just going to go and add a new sheet and over there we will go to insert and we are going to use this visualizer. Now the visualizer will help me to analyze the cross functional chart. So we will select the cross functional how you like to have the cross functional horizontal phase or single phase or if you have different one so you can select the one which you have it like I'll be just selecting the quick one and it has already plotted that steps for me perfect so it is creating that diagram perfect so that's great so we have now the finance steps so let us copy these steps from here and copy it from here and let's go and paste it over here so we have these steps now basically cross functional charts you have to mention the function who will be functioning that process so and the phases will be like it will be in our case it will be external and internal so external is like the vendor who submits the invoice so this will be external and let's say the function is the vendor so that's a function area so this will be the table I'll be not walking you through all the processor steps if you'd like to see that how I have configured this step then I'll be sharing the link in the below video description and you can even find it over here so you can just click that and see that in detail that how I have worked it out on this process step so basically the finance will review it the payable section will review that invoices payable will only tell that if there is any discrepancy and payable will only return the invoice the processing for the payment will be done by treasury and again the approval will be also done by treasury control d down and payment transfer again by treasury and need clarification then again this will be by treasury so but we'll just add one more step over here let's like saying if it is nine it's eight and let's put this as nine and now i need to change the step of the last step if it's get rejected then it had to go to nine and we'll say payment transfer and acknowledge so this step is the step after this so seventh was the last step so after this we will say that it will be eighth step and uh, and this will not be going to end it will be in fact it will be still a process and this step will go as end so that will go as an end and this will be by vendor so let's add it over here so this phase will be like internal okay and we can just fill this down and we have another one which is external is over here so now when i will refresh the chart over here you can see the flow diagram it should give me the proper steps perfect so this is looking nice so i have two external processes which is like let me zoom this up so we have two steps which are being handled by external so that is by the vendor and then the payable section handles the decision making and return of the invoice and then we have treasury who makes the payments clarification and the payment has been transferred so even in fact like if you just need that payment has been transferred is the process by the bank then you can just change it from treasury to bank and let's say refresh and this has nicely mapped that process over here and we can just 
you know, it's very easy to see that what is going on, who are the functional cross-functional area, who is responsible for what. So in this case, the payment transferred is will be not an internal one. So this will be like an external. So we need to copy and change this to external. And again, we refresh it. So, so we easily come to know that there are two processes which are external there's an acknowledgement so when the payment get transferred it get acknowledged so this is how you can prepare the cross functional chart and you can it is very handy you can use it for designing some heavy processes in your organization where multiple departments are interacting with each other so you can rightly know that who is responsible for what function and who is responsible to take some action so that's all about the functional chart and I hope my friends you enjoy this video make sure that you hit the like button share this video subscribe to my channel and I'll be seeing you soon in the next video till then take care bye